Welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. I'm Luis Van 64D, and we just barely bought ourselves some time. Is it really true about my aunt? I'm afraid so, Maya. There's no way Amy could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. And under the circumstances, there's no one else other than your aunt, your aunt Morgan. That That's terrible. Why? Why would my aunt... Everything is going just as I predicted. Mr. Phoenix, right? Ah! Mr. Von Karma! Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. Don't you have something better to, to be worrying about? Say, your own situation. Uh -huh. Looking down on me even though we're the same age. Are you done yet? You caused me enough pain and suffering. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you, and let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring your father back. <laughs> Whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to, a, to its conclusion, and then we'll know who the real winner is. Well, after being confronted like that, can't lose now. All right. Let's hope I have something going for me this time. Court will now reconvene. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? Can you prove Miss Eeny Miney had a motive? Yes, I believe I can. Eeny Miney and Do Dr. Gray have only one point of connection. And that is the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Miss Miney. Please testify to this court about your car accident last year. Huh? I thought, like, you wanted to, like, ask about my, like, motive. I, like, don't see the point in, like, bringing up the past. Miss Miney, if you please. Okay, okay. Like, I totally don't think it'll, it'll do any good, but... But, like, last year's accident? That was, like, last year in May. Like, something really bad had happened at, like, my sister's clinic around then. And then, the, like, the night of the accident, my sis was totally tired while she was driving. I was, like, totally pooped too, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. I, like, woke up because of a jolt, and, like, it was a sea of flames around me. I, like, opened the door, and, like, got away. Hmm, I think I've heard of this incident. It was all the talk on the tabloid shows day after day last year. Yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray, drugging your sister. Ugh! Those were merely rumors. Totally baseless gossip. Hmm, <clears throat> yes. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Right now, it's impossible to prove... That Dr. Gray did, in fact, drug Miss Miney's sister. Yeah. Which means I'll have to work this from another angle. <sighs> that has to be something, right? That was, like, last year in May. Didn't some sort of medical malpractice happen at your sister's hospital then? Yeah, like, that was in May, too. Like, the thing that all the patients dying was, like, May 2nd. And, like, our accident was, like, on the 24th. Two accidents back to back. Do you assume it's just a coincidence? My sis was, like, totally tired. So that's why. Duh. Like, something really bad had happened, like, at my sister's clinic around then. That was the malpractice incident where 14 patients died, correct? Yeah. What was the cause of the mistake? Like, I heard it was because the medicines, like, got mixed up. Was that the fault of your sister, Mimi Miney? <laughs> like, no way! Dr. Gray, like, wanted to blame it on my sis! Objection! That incident has nothing to do with our murder here. Besides, the police report has already documented that it was entirely Miss Mimi Miney's fault. Which means as far as the real facts are concerned, 
Mimi Miney is the one who made the mistake. But, like, it really wasn't my sis! And, like, the night of the accident, my sis was totally tired while she was driving. She was totally tired? You mean exhausted? Like, she had to talk to the police. And, like, be, was being investigated, like, every day. It was, like, a totally terrible situation. It's no wonder, then, that the car didn't happen, huh? Uh, sure. So then why didn't you ask to switch places? Huh? Like, what are you talking about? I mean, I meant switch drivers. If your sister was so tired, then you should have switched her, switched with her. True, true. Ah, <laughs> but like, I don't like, have a driver's license. This is news to me. I was not aware you didn't have your license, Mrs. Miney. No, Miney? Hmm. Miss mm, Miney, please amend your testimony. <laughs> like, okay. Anyway. I was like totally pooped too, so I fell asleep in the passenger seat. The accident happened at night, correct? Yeah, like, it was like at like 1 a.m. or so, I think. I had like a paper due, like, really soon. So, like, I hadn't slept and was working, like, real hard. So it was because of the two of you were so tired that this accident happened. And, like, woke up because of a jolt and there was like a sea of flames around me. And your sister, what happened to her? I. I didn't see her. The car was, like, totally black and there was, like, a ton of smoke. I, like, totally had, like, no clue what was going on. I, like, opened the door and, like, got away. Please tell us about your escape in more detail. I... I, like, kept wanting to forget that time. So, like, I don't remember things about the accident in, like, detail anymore. Mm, well... It's alright. No need to push yourself. I think I, like, gave an interview after the accident. Like, that would probably be the most accurate, you know? Eh. If it's the article, then I've already got it. I, like, didn't have my license, so, like, I couldn't take over driving for her? Huh? And that's why you were in the passenger seat? Y like, yeah. I was, like, in my college's research lab till, like, really late. So my sis was, like, giving me a ride home. I see. Phoenix. Y yes You can't do this. You're being too easy on her. There's gotta be some sort of secret sleeping in this uh, testimony. Yes, so let's find that one crushing contradiction and end this. Well, we all know what it is. She, she's lying. Because I have it right here. Miss Miney, that was a lame lie just now. L like, what do you mean? I know you had a license back then. This is a photo you took for the express pur purpose of getting a driver's license. Um, what is the meaning of this, Miss Miney? Uh, um, uh, I, uh, that, that's, that's right. Y yeah, I had, like, a license, but, uh, uh, <laughs> but I didn't get it until after the accident. <clears throat> no, you had it. You had it at the time of the accident. Director Haughty, or the guy pretending to be him anyway, said so. <laughs> what, are you talking about that perverted fake clinic director? Yes, that perverted fake clinic director. And how did you know he was perverted? No one cares. Witness, when did you receive your driver's license? <laughs> like, last November. What? The, the November? <laughs> the accident happened last May. That's half a year lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Whoa, 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 what in the... Th 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 that's what I happened, Mr. Wright. At the time of the accident, Miss Miney did not have a driver's license. Uh, oh. Ah! Cry and my whip will accommodate. Anyway, without a license, the witness and her sister could not assist drivers. 
I'm like, glad you get it, but, like, even if I had my license, I, like, don't think my sis would, like, let me drive. Hmm. Ah! Don't just stand there humming to yourself! Not you too, Mia! With the whip and the pain in the- Ah! Miss Miney, what do you have- What do you think you would not have been allowed to drive anyway? Eh? Um, that's because... I think this situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Miss Miney, if you please. Eh? L like, how annoying. Oops, like, sorry. Didn't mean to be mean. I, w I totally wouldn't have been allowed. Like, around that time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. My sis was, like, this totally big fan of cars and, like, really valued them. She, like, had just gotten this really shiny, bright red sports car. <laughs> she, like, would say things like, No way am I letting a new driver drive my car. So, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat at that night, too. Hmm, I see. Bright red sports car for sports. Now then, the defense may question this witness. Uh, I'm not terribly knowledgeable about cars, but... I'm sure I can figure something out. Like, around the time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. So what do you mean by really close? <laughs> like, I have one of those permit things. I think that's what they're called. Uh, permit? Wow, the big name lawyer boy doesn't even know what a driver's permit is. Well, this lawyer never had a permit. Ah! Ignorance is to be whipped. What is with her? All she said in the last few minutes is utter nonsense. So, like, may I continue? My sis was like this totally big fan of cars and like really valued them. She valued cars? How much would you say she valued her car? <laughs> well, like, she'd flip out at, like, a drop of rain. And, like, she would notice if someone, like, touched a car door with dirty hands. In that case, why bother taking the car out of the garage, ever? Huh. Why does she take such special care of the car? <laughs> How can you say that? It was a brand spanking new car! New car? <laughs> like, you wouldn't want to, like, get it dirty, would you, Mr. Lawyer? I would think that cars getting dirty is just another fact of life, but... I guess people who really love cars think otherwise. Phoenix, try asking something of more significance, alright? Well, Miss Manny, what kind of car was it? She, like, had just gotten this really shiny, bright red sports car. It was a new car? Yeah. She had, like, just gotten it. It was, like, from the UK. Hmm. The UK? Was her was that her boyfriend's initials? And it was a really special model. She had waited for a whole year for it to arrive. I guess her love of cars would be the obvious next topic. Huh, she, she seems pretty energetic about it, too. But I really don't know anything about cars. But I have a feeling this is bound to come up. Your Honor. Y yes Please append what the witness had just said to her testimony. You mean the part about it being a special car from overseas? Yes. <sighs> well, if you like cars that much, then. That's not my point! Though, to be honest, I don't know what the point is, either. Miss Miney, would you please fix your testimony? <laughs> sure, whatever. My sister's new car was, like, totally special model from England. England cars? Wait, England cars! I yelled hold it pretty forcefully, but... I don't actually know what to ask for about cars. Eh. Eh, I'll get something. Uh, so, yes. What am I supposed to pick for a topic? Let's start with this. Why are British cars good? <laughs> like, huh? They're expensive, and the driver's seat is opposite of the cars here in the States. It would seem there is no benefit to owning one. Like, huh? 
this whole steering wheel on the right side thing. It's kind of goofy, isn't it? Y you What do you know? The sleek shape, the purr of the engine, the wide way it starts, the smooth handling, the raw feel of my the boost of AC! Uh, forgive me. Her personality really changes at the drop of a hat. It's interesting, isn't it, Phoenix? Bit by bit, we're beginning to see the real contradiction behind this case. <laughs> she would like say things like, "No way am I letting a new drive line you have my car." Huh? Was your sister, sister good at driving? She was like totally awesome. She like said she was going to be the like racing queen of the nursing world. Somehow, I think the, she bumped my question off track again. So like that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night too. And that was when the accident occurred, correct? Like, yeah. I, like, immediately reached for the passenger side door and fled, like, in a daze. Hmm. Sounds like you had a terrifying time. There's something very big here. It's going to be hard to break apart such a natural sounding testimony. But we have to attack it. And by doing so, a flaw will show itself. It has to. D do you really think so? Believe. That is, there is a path, I know it. Hmm. Me almost sounded like a prophet for a second there. Alright, so... I just want to check this, check this again. So... Here's what she said about the article. We crashed. Okay. I was like really tired and I dropped off to sleep. Then there was a crash and like I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like still half asleep, but I opened the right side and like got out. There is the contradiction. Objection! Miss Miney! Do you remember this article? Huh? It's an article about the accident. You had said this in it. But I opened the right door and, like, got out. Bec that's correct, isn't it? Like, why are you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side is the passenger's seat? The left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver's on the left side. That would be if it were an American car, but it would be the opposite in a British car. Opposite? The two of them were riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be on the left side. <laughs> what, what do you mean by this? Miss Miney, you said that you had escaped using the right side do door of the car. But if you were sitting there, then that would mean you were in the driver's seat! <laughs> order! Order in the court! Order! 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 Ah! Mr. Phoenix Wright is blabbering nonsense again! Eenie said the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Miney. That is what Eenie said, yes. But that's where the story falls apart. Somewhere, all of this has made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix, it looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Eenie or Mimi, who was really driving that night? Eeny miny. From the sound of it, Eeny. And the answer is Eeny miny, of course. W why did you say that? Miss Eeny miny just told, said so herself in her testimony. She said that she escaped the car from the right side door, which would have been where the driver's seat was. Ah! I'm inclined to feel sorry for a foolish fool who foolishly spends his time foolishly. At that time, Miss Eeny Miney had yet, not yet received her driver's license. And that is why the accident happened! Hold it, Phoenix! It looks like you still don't see the real truth behind the accident. The, the real truth? Think outside the box! Isn't that what we always say? Uh, Alright, one more time. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. It means... Mimi? Of course! The answer is the one person who had her driver's license, Mimi Miney! After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. But, but 
you just said. The witness we see money was the one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. The, the next question? Who is the person standing in the witness seat right now? <coughs> uh, what sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Th this witness's name! This witness's name is I'll tell you her name really what her name really is. This witness's real name is Mimi Miney! Mimi Miney, that is your real name. Objection! Of all the foolish dribble, the, then how do you explain her appearance? When she was admitted into the hospital, this witness was suffering severe facial burns. For the purpose of facial reconstruction, they used a picture. A facial reconstruction surgery? This is the picture she gave to the doctors at the time. That's right! It's a picture of her younger sister! No! But, but, Mimi Miney, she died in the car accident! That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. But then, the body they found at the crash site? That was the body of the real Eenie Meenie. Isn't that right, Miss My Mimi Miney? <laughs> That car accident one year ago. The one who died that night was Eenie Miney. Her sister, Mimi, then stole her face. It was born as Eenie. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Miney from existence. Your Honor, I'm sure you can see now why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. What, what do you mean? <clears throat> what is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of the dead person. Specifically, the spirit of his nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Miney. However, that would not have been possible. Because Mimi Miney was still, in fact, alive. And that fact would have been discovered by the channeling been conducted. So this witness had to stop that from happening. At all costs. And... And... And that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling, Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. Wha well, Miss Eni? I mean, Miss Von Gromp. Ugh! Why did you say my name just now? Looks like I've been unmasked. W witness? <laughs> That's right. I admit it. My real name is Mimi Miney. <gasps> the quack doctor. He got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi, too. So close. But... But why? Why would you go so far to throw away yourself? To become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mimi Miney wanted herself to disappear because... That's... That's about the malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. A nurse by the name of Mimi Miney. That's right. The person standing before us today. And a few weeks after this misha mishap... Mimi Miney had a car accident. In which she lost her younger sister. The, the, the timing couldn't have been worse! Fourteen patients dying in an accident, and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all. The only way. 
She lost everything in the flames of that accident. Her sister, and even her own face. This was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jerk. If only he hadn't thought of channeling Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo? Becoming Eni had been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling. The occult. I hate it! Hate it all! I believe there are still a few unsolved riddles here. Why did you set a murderous revenge plot into motion? And why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help you with the plan? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear. The innocence of the defendant, Maya Fay. Th this This is preposterous! I I'm perfect! Me, Francisca von Karma! I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Ms. Von Grama. How about you? It's going to be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. And one more for good measure! Phoenix! Hang in there, Phoenix! Phoenix! Your court is a fraud! A sham! Now then, it looks like it will be some time before Mr. Wright regains consciousness, so I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Not guilty. He got really knocked out cold there. That is all. Court is adjourned. Oh look, I'm back. Got consciousness back, that's good. Congratulations, Maya. But this is this! <laughs> it's good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis! Sis! I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, sis. My dream? smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent? I was inside that clothing, clothing box, right? A box. That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. That's right. Hmm, there's still one thing I don't quite get. What's that? What would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Miney had planned to open the door of the cha chamber herself. And then, you and Lada would have witnessed quite a scene. A possessed Maya Faye, who just committed a murder. She had it planned down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick! Congrats, Maya. Thanks! <laughs> Looks like you bailed me out of another jam. Well, you know... But... I really don't want something like this to happen ever again. Huh? I'm fine because I have you to help me out, Nick. But every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister, and now my aunt. Hmm. Hey Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went to did something so horrible. How did she help Miss Mimi, Mimi with a plan like this? It's just... I just don't understand it, Nick. Maya, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? Nick, please, I need an answer. The reason Morgan helped Mimi with her plan... Well... Here. It's this. Pearly? Four years from now, a new master will be born into Korean Village. And that person will be you, Maya. Uh, and? But if you weren't there, then the main family's bloodline would disappear. And what would happen then? The branch family, my aunt. No, Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. 
The next person would be Pearls. Ah! Everything was done for her sake. It was also that Pearls would become the next master. Y yeah, I can see that. Hmm? Did Maya just say something just now? I think that she was saying, I thought so. My precious Pearl, you are the only one suitable to be a master of terrain, dear child. I sacrificed it all, all for you. I helped that brainless nurse carry out her murder, and cooperated with the whip-happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat that annoying, witless main family girl. That Maya Faye. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. Well, got a new, we have a new turnabout unlocked. Wow, we really... Oh, dear. That whole thing was absurd. But anyway. Hey, that was pretty fun. Um, See you next turnabout. Illusion Island 64D. See you next time. Turnabout Big Top. Oh, they, they have pictures. See you next time. Turnabout Big Top.